What's poppin' guys? We're gonna take the magic of a Wagyu steak and we're gonna do our own date night steak dinner right at home. We're gonna jump right in and we're gonna start with baked potatoes. Every steak dinner has to have a killer baked potato. So we're gonna throw our washed potatoes on a wire rack. We wanna lift it up off the cookie sheet so that the air can circulate underneath it and we get an even cook. Now, if you don't have a, a wire rack, that's fine. Just go ahead and drop it on the cookie sheet but it's best if you do. We're gonna hit it with some sort of oil. I'm gonna use this Kroger spray oil and I'm gonna hit it with some salt. I want that oil so that skin is crisp and so that salt sticks. Now we're gonna make sure that we roll these and we're gonna hit all the sides with salt and oil. We want even crisp, even flavor. Now I like my oven like I like your mother, hot as possible, you heard? So trust me on this. Get it up to 450 degrees. We're gonna check it in 20 minutes. If the skins look good, we'll leave it alone. If they're starting to look dry, we'll hit it with some more fat. Now I just picked up this Circle City smoke, uh, smoked peppercorns and uh, I feel like I need to give it a shot. I feel like this is a perfect time for it. It smells friggin' amazing. You can smell the smoke on it and the pepper. And we're gonna go ahead and drop these in the grinder and they're gonna come into play here later. Now if you want to look like the ultimate baller, you'll get some asparagus and spend like $400,000 a pound and you'll uh, class up your meal big time. Now make sure you cut off all these little busted ends because they don't add any flavor and they just kind of taste weird so get rid of them. Now you can use any kind of oil you like but I'm going to keep using this because it's easy so that's why I use it. Use whatever you want. Now I'm going to hit these with my patented steak seasoning which will be available on the website soon. It's delicious on all kinds of stuff and it adds a great flavor for any grilled foods. Now my friends, it's time for the main event. Two Wagyu steaks. We got a strip and we got a ribeye. Now it's time to level up and final boss's steak dinner. Now if you can't get your hands on Wagyu, that's fine. Get a good looking steak. The better marbling, the better. You can still follow the same process and have a bomb ass steak dinner. Now guys, we're gonna keep this super simple because we got a good quality steak. We want that flavor to really pop. What makes a steak pop more than anything? Salt and pepper. We're gonna give it a heavy dose of salt and a heavy dose of those smoked peppercorns from Circle City Smokers. And we're just really gonna make sure that we get a nice even coating all over this thing. Now you can use a steak seasoning. You can use more stuff if you want. But again, I'm just going for beef. Now I checked on my potatoes. Mine are looking good, but if yours are not, hit them with a little more oil or maybe some butter. Now we're going to throw this asparagus on here and I'm going to make sure that it's going every which way because apparently I enjoy my life being complete and utter chaos. And because I used to watch Rachel Ray a lot as a kid, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit this bad boy with a little EVOO. We're going to follow it up with some char grill or lemon pepper seasoning because it's good and the citrus flavor adds a body of depth to the asparagus and we want that. We want layers, layers, layers. I say that every video. The more layers of flavor, the better. So since we're cooking this on a cast top, we want to go ahead and make sure that we're flipping our steaks a lot, similar to the method that you would use in an oven. We're also going to butter base these. Now I know there's going to be some of you that are going to be like, oh it's Wagyu, you can't do that, You whatever, get out of here, don't butter base it then, I don't care. This is what I'm doing with mine. I got a garlic compound butter and I'm going to go ahead and dump that butter all over there. I'm going to let it fry into the butter, I'm going to let it fry in its own juices, I'm going to flip it every minute or so. Well, this is tried and true steak cooking, it works for any steak, it makes every steak better, so if you do it with your steak whether it's wagyu prime choice whatever you can afford it's going to be next level Here we go, the perfect steak date night dinner cooked right at home. We have two perfectly cooked steaks, we have asparagus, we have a baked potato chock full of butter and sour cream. What more could you possibly ask for? The only thing left is to try it. I'm going to try the strip and my friends it melts in your mouth. This is honestly the most delicious steak I've ever tasted in my life up until this point. I literally feel like I'm in heaven right now. Like if I died right now eating this steak, I could be okay with that. Now let's get a little piece of this ribeye. It really is looking so good. And that strip steak was the best tasting steak I'd ever tasted in my life until that point. Because now this one is. The richness, the depth of flavor, it's amazing guys. 
Now I didn't really have anywhere to put this next clip so it seemed like the right place to do it because it's kind of dope. That being said, if you like this video, if you learned something, if there's a technique you can use here, hit that subscribe, hit that like. If you got questions or you want to tell me how bad I suck, leave it in the comments below. I respond to every comment. Unless it's really stupid, then I don't, Terry. I'll never respond to your comments because you're stupid. Remember in cooking, there are no rules. Cook good, eat good. So after we get you looking dope as possible in your skull and mortar t-shirt, we gotta get to the cooking. We might as well get that food taste and fly as possible. With your Beach Bum Barbecue Rub, made exclusively by Skull and Mortar, it's award winning, it's gonna take your food from the top to, from the bottom to the top. And after we sauce you up, we might as well rub you up my friends with that Skull and Mortar Rub. That's right, don't be a pervert. We're not talking about that kind of rub up my friend. We're talking about the rub that you put on your meat. Again, come on dude, have some class. Put this on your chicken, your pork, your beef, your fish. It doesn't matter, you can put it on anything. If you can find something you can't put it on, shoot me a DM because you'll literally blow my own mind. Check it out now at skullandmortar.com.